I'm Homesteading Barbie. We are collecting dandelions today for one of my very favorite things, dandelion wine. It is such a treat. It's so delicious. Springtime, I found, is the best time to collect dandelions. When you get your dandelions, you're going to need two quarts of the flowers, just the flowers. So we're not going to want this green part. So what I'm going to do, it's a lot easier if they're nice and big like this. That's why the spring ones are a little bit better. In fall, they tend to be a little bit smaller, at least here where I live. I'm going to kind of bunch it all up and then pick that off. And that's what we're going to use to make our dandelion wine. So go collect some dandelions and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we're going to boil our water. You can use filtered water as well. I just boiled that a lot. And then I'm going to add my sugar. This is four pounds of sugar, so I took a pound out because I just need three pounds of sugar. And then I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in here where I'm going to put my yeast. Give my yeast just a little something to eat. So, and then I have my wine yeast that I'm going to put in there. And I've sterilized all of my utensils, so I'm going to stir up my yeast. checked the temperature before I put that in and it was at 102 so that is absolutely perfect we're now at 100 perfect so we're just gonna let that bloom and I'm gonna mix in all of that sugar this is nice hot water so it's gonna mix in really really well and while this is blooming I'm gonna let this cool down while this is cooling, I'm going to steep my dandelions. I have, this is frozen that I picked um, a about a month ago, but I didn't have time to make the wine. So I put it in the freezer, which is perfectly fine to do. really condenses down so you want about two quarts two quarts of flowers it's just perfect I'm gonna mix that in and I'm gonna put a lid on that so that can steep, and I'm gonna let that steep until it's cool. I'm gonna keep stirring to make sure that the sugar is dissolving and that the dandelions are steeping. Okay, so it's cooled down, and I have strained out the dandelion flowers. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of pectic enzyme. One teaspoon of beet acid blend. And one teaspoon of the yeast nutrient. Give that yeast something to eat. Okay, and we're going to add our yeast. This nice frothiness means that the yeast is still viable and that it's bloomed. And that is 
it's just perfect. So now, we can stir that up, make sure that's all mixed, stir it up really well. You're now going to add in the juice of one lemon and one orange into your dandelion wine. And this is going to be a lid on fermentation. We're going to leave this for one week and then we're going to come back. So put it in a dark place and let it ferment for one week. Okay, so my microphone wasn't working, so I'm just going to go through this now. So at, after one week, I would take the lid off, put some gold raisins in just to make sure that it really has enough yeast, it has enough sugar. It does because it was foamy on top before, but I just want some insurance that that yeast is all has something to eat and more yeast to, to happen. So it's like a long term fermentation thing. So you really want to make sure that it has enough. And I'm going to put this airlock on and then I would come back in one month. Okay, so it is finally bottling day. The way that you're gonna test and see if it's ready is you're gonna swirl it up. And if you don't see any bubbles happening in that airlock, it is ready for bottling. So the first thing we're gonna do is sanitize our bottles. You can use bleach, you can use sanitizer. You really wanna get the bacteria, not just soap and water, that will help, and hot water, that will really help, but you wanna add a little bit of bleach just to make sure there's no weird bacteria in there that's gonna we're gonna be fermenting this for about a year the recipe that I have says that you can drink it after six months but that's definitely not enough time in my opinion I have drank it after 10 months and I've drank it after a year it needs the year in my opinion but uh, you know, brewer's choice, what, whatever makes you happy. If that's, you just can't wait, then you just can't wait. And it's still delicious. Other people who haven't had my wine before don't really notice a difference, but I do. So, you know. And I'm also going to be soaking my corks. Now, if these are old corks that you're reusing, you want to soak them in a little bit of bleach. And if they're new corks, then you can just soak them in some water. So, I'm going to use my funnel and I also need my corker. This is essential to this project. This is how we're going to get the cork in the bottle so that it can ferment. Do not, I repeat, do not put a screw top lid on it. I speak from experience. It will create a bomb. Didn't mention anything about that in the recipe, so I had to learn that the hard way. And no joke, I'm still finding glass in this room where it blew up. I'm very grateful no one was in here when that happened because they would have been very injured. So seriously, this is not, uh, there's a reason for the cork. It helps let off that gas, otherwise pressure builds up and it will explode. Okay, so it's been a month, so I'm going to take the airlock off and I'm going to pour it into these bottles. It is ready to be bottled. Now, I have already sanitized my bottles and my funnel, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in. leaving plenty of room for the cork. So I'm just gonna fill it up to about there. And that's just perfect. And I'm gonna fill up all my bottles and then we're gonna cork it. If there is some sediment at the bottom, like this one has, when you pour it, try to leave it out. Try to just leave that out of the wine. So one gallon of wine will usually do about four or five bottles of wine. This one did almost five. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we cork the wine. I'm going to take one of the corks that has been soaking and place it into my corker. Then I'm going to take my bottle of wine that's ready to be corked. Okay, 
So I'm going to place the bottle of wine in between my feet and put the corker on it. And in one fluid motion, I'm just going to put it in there. So, boom. That did not do super good. Hopefully the next one will be better. You don't really want it sticking out like that. If you want, you can take a opener and get it out and put it back in. I'm okay with it. It's not ideal, but that's how it happens sometimes. So once again, you're gonna put it in here. Now, these corks I bought, I'm not super happy with. You can see how much bigger it is than a regular cork, and that's why I'm having this issue. So that's something to keep in mind if you're buying new corks off of Amazon, which is what I did. So let's see if this one will be better. Perfect. That one came out just perfect. That's how it's supposed to be. Not bad. So the last step is that we are going to label it and put the date on it so that you know when it was bottled. And then you're going to store it on its side, just like regular wine, in a cool, dry place, not in the refrigerator, so that it can fully ferment, do its last step. So when you're finally done after a year, then you finally get to enjoy all of your hard work. So back in the day, Dandelion wine was allowed, even though women weren't allowed to drink wine, because it's so healthy for you, it's more like a tonic. So, I opened some the other day, so that we could try it. It's so fun to have friends over and open up a bottle of your homemade wine. It's really a treat, so cheers. It's really good. It's very flowery, almost like a perfume. Mmm. It is excellent. I love this recipe, and I hope you do too. I hope you try it, and if you do, let me know how it goes down in the comments. Somebody's bound to have the same question that you have. Even though I've been doing this a long time, I still sometimes run across things that I don't know exactly what to do. So I'm happy to answer questions. Hit me up down in the comments. Someone else like I said, probably has the same question as you. So please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.